Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Multipower channel. In the military world, many countries boast about their advanced fighter jets like the F-22 Raptor. But have you ever known about a jet that is just as intimidating? That jet is the A-10 Thunderbolt, also known as the Warthog. Developed by Lockheed Martin and Fairchild Republic in the 1970s. The A-10 Thunderbolt has a length of about 57 feet, 17.4 meters, and a wingspan of 57 feet as well, 17.4 meters. The empty weight of the A-10 Thunderbolt is around 19,000 pounds, 8,618 kilograms, and the maximum weight is around 51,000 pounds, 23,133 kilograms. The A-10 Thunderbolt was specially designed for close air support CAS, missions supporting ground troops with airstrikes. The main advantage of the A-10 Thunderbolt is its primary weapon, a Gatling 30mm gun that can fire up to 4,200 rounds per minute. Additionally, it is equipped with rocket launchers and bombs. The A-10 Thunderbolt is also equipped with the heavy GAU-8 Avenger rotary gun as its primary weapon. This is the heaviest rotary gun ever mounted on a fighter aircraft. Some parts of the fuselage are made of steel, with a total weight of over 540 kilograms. These parts are designed to remain functional for as long as possible. Jeep Hog 1 and 2 are to send out. The A-10 Thunderbolt is designed to be highly durable, designed to withstand enemy attacks and remain in flight even when badly damaged. The cockpit of the A-10 Thunderbolt is equipped with strong armor to protect the pilot and also has separate hydraulic systems to ensure the jet can still operate if the main systems are damaged. An interesting fact is that the A-10 Thunderbolt is the only fighter jet built solely for CAS, so it cannot be used for other missions such as interdiction or air-to-air -air combat. However, precisely because of that, the A-10 Thunderbolt is extremely effective in carrying out its assigned tasks. Since its operation in 1977, the A-10 Thunderbolt has been a mainstay of the United States Air Force in close air support missions and has been used in various battles such as the Iraq War and the Afghanistan War. Other countries have also operated the A-10 Thunderbolt, including Spain, Portugal, and Thailand. Even though the A-10 Thunderbolt is considered an old fighter jet, it is still in use today and is expected to be used until 2030. One reason why the A-10 Thunderbolt is still in use is that its price is relatively cheaper compared to newer generation fighter jets. Even though the A-10 Thunderbolt is several decades old, its maintenance cost is much cheaper than that of newer generation fighter jets. Additionally, the A-10 Thunderbolt is also acknowledged as a highly effective fighter jet in close air support missions. The A-10 Thunderbolt's ability to aid ground troops is highly crucial in current battles and has proven to be effective in various wars. At present, the United States government is planning to replace the A-10 Thunderbolt with new generation fighter jets. However, many people argue that the A-10 Thunderbolt is still needed in the U.S. Armed Forces. Therefore, despite being several decades old, the A-10 Thunderbolt is still recognized as one of the most intimidating fighter jets ever made and is expected to be in use for a long time. In conclusion, the A-10 Thunderbolt is a highly effective fighter jet in close air support CAS, missions that has proven its capabilities in various battles. 
Despite being considered an old fighter jet, the A-10 Thunderbolt is still in use today and is expected to be used until 2030. With its relatively low cost and effectiveness in battle, the A-10 Thunderbolt remains a good choice for military forces. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.